That shaft has got a one-way clutch, so one direction it locks to drive, and the other way it three wheels. And that makes sense for you to say it. So I'm going to turn the system on so you can see what it looks like. And watch the flow here as this comes on. All right, so if you take a look there, you'll see we've got power flowing from the battery through the control unit up to the motors, from the motors through the transmission, and now out the drive system. Pretty straightforward. Now, starting out is often going to be on the V motor, but at some point that V motor may, because of a load or an inefficiency or speed, may say, you know what, I need a little bit more help here, I need some assistance. So we're going to bring the A motor online now, now we're going to drive two motors, and this is where we're creating the efficiency. Instead of letting that B motor start to bog down, kind of like your drill, or start to pull a lot of amperage from the battery, we're going to bring the B motor online, or the A motor online, and we're actually going to get it some assistance to try and keep it out of that high load or drag scenario. So, at one point, or some point, this system is now going to go to where it's going to say, you know what, either speed or torque availability is just simply not there to support it as an electric dedicated system. We're going to turn on the combustion engine, gas. So I'm going to turn the engine on here for you. Now you can see we got that gas engine running, the 3.6 is running. But what I want you to take a look real close here in this video is, you'll notice the gas engine is, is running right now, it's operating. But what's happening to the, uh, the current path? Has it changed since the last screen? No, it hasn't. And the reason for that is, this is a very smart system. What's actually going on right now is, is the engine and the motor or motors are kind of working together as a team. There's going to get a point here where the system is going to say, you know what? The electric motors at this point are just not doing anything for efficiency. So we're going to bring those offline and we're going to dedicate this system to a gas program. So just like what you guys are selling right now. So let's take it to another level here. Now we're driving down the road, we'll say we're, uh, we're in 3.6 mode. We're going to bring that uh, combustion engine mode. And we lift the throttle and we start to apply the brake. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on that system and you can actually see. So you see the direction, the path, the flow of the energy. Watch what happens when we lift the throttle and apply a brake. It's going the other direction now, right? So you guys have heard regen braking or regenerative braking? That's exactly what you're seeing here up on the screen. So let's, let's track this flow here where it's going. So if we start out at the wheels, we're taking the kinetic energy from out of those wheels, bringing them through the drive shaft, bringing that through the transmission. But now, remember, we've got two electric motors, right? What motor now is being tasked to do something? And what is it? A motor, now what is it? It's a generator. Okay, excellent. So, that clutch, that one-way clutch that's in there, now because that be driven just went offline, it just unlocked that clutch. It's freewheeling, and now it's sending power back to the battery. So that's what that one-way clutch is designed to do with the system. So you take a look here, it's a pretty straightforward operation. But again, this is very complex, and I can't think of a better way to explain this to your customers than using the visual aid. So hopefully you guys got some good video from this. Let's go ahead and talk